there is a part of me that doesn't like working. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like my job. Don't. But it's not a, I don't want to work for the man. Or I don't want to have a boss. None of that's true. If I could do this and I work for a company, I'd be cool. If I work for some, if I was underneath a company called Late Night S, let's say I was a basketball guy. If I was making videos and I got paid enough to live off of, and it was called, for example, Locked On Lakers. That's a, that's locked on as a company. Locked on, locked on the Nuggets. Locked on Lakers. Locked on uh, Ravens. That's a big old company that you could work under. I don't know how much they get paid, but something like that. I would do the same thing if I got paid to do it. But I don't get paid, so I still do it. I don't mind having a boss if somebody came up and said, "Hey, Trey, you can't talk about that." I'd be cool. I make my bread until I could break away and do my own little thing. That like, oh, I'm off. I'm I, I would do a candid with Col Candace Owens there. That would be my dream. Go to work for a company for five, ten years. I think she worked for them for five, six years. Leave. And now I've already got this big ass platform because they helped me get this platform. And when it's time to say goodbye, I say goodbye. And I do my own shit into my 40s and 50s. Now, will God ever give me that? I don't know. But right now, I got to work a job I don't want to. I got to do a career I don't want to. I'm being honest with you. As much as I want to be a nurse, I just want to do that to help as many people as I can. But, you know, the nursing field isn't isn't my dream. It's just not. As much as I want to make it my dream, guys, you know what? I, I'll make this into something. I think you should work a job that you hate to get through it, to get through the bad times, to learn what it means like to, you know, make money and learn how to get through shit. Because I think what happens too much today is we want to go find a job that we love and then when we hate it, we pray to God and say, well, it wasn't just for me. No, every job I've worked for the last couple years. No, no, let me say it. Let me be honest. From maybe a year and a half till now, what I've learned is every job I work from this point, I'm going to hate. I'm going to hate. There's no job that will fulfill me like what I do when I come to the late night shows. This keeps me up at night. I love doing this. Will I ever get paid to do it? I don't know. But for now, I'll work a job I hate. That, And I'm going to go as far as I can. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Because if this shit never works out, I can't be a dummy. I can't be stupid. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get a degree. Keep getting degree. Get another degree. And make as much, much money in this career that I don't like. Because there's no... Listen, there's no job I'm going to like. Nothing. If it ain't this... I'm not going to like it. It just is what it is. I was born to do this. I hate saying stupid shit like that because I do think it's dumb to uh, um, assume that you were born to do something if you're not even good at it. Um, or to assume, and what I mean by I think it's dumb is to, like, I'm not going to give up my whole life for this. You know? Because that'd be dumb. I couldn't feed my family. Does that mean it's not going to take me somewhere? No. But I think the difference between, this is what I've always wanted to do, but I also had to work fries at McDonald's until my dream came. I think that's okay. Because you hate working McDonald's fries. But I think what people do too much of, and I can be, I can say that I've done this too. Is you work a job, you hate it, and you're like, man, what if I could be a streamer or a YouTuber? Back in my day, I wanted to be on live TV. This is true. I'm not gonna lie. When I used to, when I when I was growing up, first take, um, I didn't really watch Cold Pizza like that. But all those sports shows, I watched those like crazy. And I'm and I and I do have people that I inspire to be like not my idol, but people I liked. I liked. I'm not saying I like these people personally, but I like them on TV. Like if I could be something like that, whether I believe with their believe their. If, whether I agree with their beliefs or not, it doesn't matter. But the Skip Baylesses, you know, the what's his name, man, he died a long time ago, though, man. He was the, probably the first dude I probably ever thought about. I can't remember his name. He passed away from uh, cancer. I can't remember his name, though. Wow. But anyway, I like Ryan Clark, um, Emmanuel Acho, I like Nick Wright. I like Stephen A. Smith. I don't agree with everything he says, but I like him as a just being on TV, like somebody who does it 280 days out of the year, whatever it is they do. Um, 
Uh, like I said, Kevin Wiles, Chris Boussard. Um, I like I, I kind of like Chris Carter when he was around. I like Chris Canty. I like all them dudes, man. Growing up, I used to love watching people do comedy. Now I don't want to do comedy, but I love the live part of it. I love watching Steve Harvey. I love watching Bernie Mac when he attacked Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer, Eddie Murphy. I still love Dave Chappelle. You know the Cat Williams. I just like that live feel. So when I was a kid, there was a couple things I wanted to be. I wanted to be a pastor. Do you know why? Because I like this. I like talking. You can ask. Well, you can't ask. <laughs> but when I came out of college, I was going to go to school for theology. Because I've always, even though being a pastor is that live TV, I wanted to do live stuff. I didn't want a script. I didn't want nothing in front of my face. I wanted an idea. I wanted to be able to write down what I was going to talk about, think about it all week. And when Sunday came, have my notes ready. I used to dream about it. Having my my notes right there, having a pulpit and being like, hey, but you know, life, life takes a turn, you know, and I never got that opportunity. Um, but I, to be honest, guys, I wasn't going to be rich. I knew I was going to be dead ass broke being a pastor, but I had a, pa a feel for it. I don't know if I'll ever be wealthy, but I, I, I can try now. I might as well try. So that's why I said I'll continue my nursing career and do that. But I don't want to do this. I don't want to be a nurse. I, I've tried my best to make myself want to be that. I just can't fall in love with it. I just don't care about people in that way anymore. Since I've left working with um, kids and... Um, Behavioral kids, kids in special ed, stuff like that, special education. Um, I did it for so long. I just, and I didn't do it consecutively for 20 years and stuff like that. I started doing it when I was a freshman in high school, volunteered. And then when I got older, I actually worked, did jobs in that, volunteered at church, taught in church. And then I actually worked for an actual schools. I said stuff like that, and I just, it's dead. Like, I, I feel like I could still, like, I, I feel like I could still teach. But for me personally, I just have no desire to teach kids anymore. I have no desire to help them. I'm, I have a complete compassion fatigue. I stayed in just a year too long. If I hadn't got left, the year, if I had just left the year before I did, I think I'd have been okay. But I left just a year late, and that just destroyed it all for me. And I know people in the medical field can make such good money. I could go into the legal field, and who knows, I still may go that route. Yeah. But do I think it would ever... I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The only reason I want to go further in my nursing career if I did... It's to bring more content. That's all it is to me. Like, I want to bring more experiences. Like, when I say I want to be this, a streamer, I don't mean I want to leave the world. That doesn't mean I want to sit in my fucking room all day and think about streaming shit. I don't. If I could take the one thing I do love about work and make that my life as well, without having to go to work, I would do it. Like, I love still talking to people. If there's a way for me to talk to people like I can at work and get to hear people's stories but not actually have to work the whole damn shift. If I could just show up for an hour and listen to stories, like when they're on their breaks or stuff and just talk, or if I could figure out, if I could just figure out a way to still communicate with the world and still network and do this, that's be perfect. But I don't know how to do that. I don't know how I could not work or make this my full-time job and not work and still be able to talk to people. Because I'm going to be honest with you, this channel will get boring if I don't talk to people. That's my whole shit. I talk about people, I talk about experiences I've had and stuff like that. That's why I could talk to you guys about people being like Tupac and being called gay or being effeminate or being something I don't want to be, being in debt, being a loser, being a manly, being short, being fat, being called the N-word, having white friends, growing up in a white town, growing up in a white college. You know what I mean? Being in honors college, failing out of college. I didn't fail completely out of college. 
to getting suspended out of college, then get my grades back up, getting into nursing, getting into this. I could tell you that shit because I've been through it. I'm not making this shit up. But at the same time, I don't, it's not like I'm not, I also tell you guys I'm a complete loser. Like if I, if I could tell you to live my life, if I could say, hey, you could be like Trey or you'd be like somebody else. Most, almost nine times out of 10, I'd say be someone else. I'm not, you know, it's not like I don't hate myself, but I know that I'm not where I need to be. So I want to use my life to help you guys not be me. Because to be at the end of the day, yeah, I've had some successes, but for the most part, and I mean this in a good way, not in a bad way. I'm just a fat loser at the end of the day. But I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, I don't hate myself or anything like that. It's more like if I knew what I knew now, I'd be much further along. So I want to teach you guys that when you're in your 20s or when I'm in my 40s, God willing, I could teach you guys in your 30s. But hey, I learned this in my 30s. So you don't have to. So do this, invest in this, do this, get yourself a brokerage account, don't don't make no car payments, don't ride what you can. Get a car that's going to get you pretty much to work and back home with the least amount of maintenance as you can. I'm not saying don't live a life. I'm saying just learn to be more frugal if you ain't got it like that. And I'm going to teach you, then I want to be able to teach you guys how to get it like that. But I don't know. I got to pay for that. I have to pay for Patreons. I got to pay for fucking uh, support. I don't know how to do any of this shit. But I will pay now, me. I'll pay for this stuff. So maybe in a couple years from now, we can be sitting here with 100,000 subs that'll be like, hey guys, I got to quit my job. We making bread here, baby. And I'm not talking about bread that's going to disappear. I'm talking about I got bread to last me forever. Like I can quit and stop doing YouTube and the money will still come. That's what I'm trying to get to, guys. And I don't think it's going to happen in a couple years, to be fair. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't know when it can happen, but I want to be able to come back to you guys and be like, hey, you guys remember when I was broke as fuck? We up now. And so are you. All that money I had to spend to learn this shit and fuck up and fail and my life sucked and I had to do shit I didn't want to do. Now I can teach you how to not have to be what I was. Now, that doesn't mean some of you guys aren't going to have to work a job you don't like. That's fine. But maybe one day you you you'll you won't necessarily have to work a job you don't like. But you can work a job you can tolerate, make some bread in there, and then do what you want to do. Because let's be honest, all of our dreams aren't gonna make money. So, I mean, if you can get a job that you can work two days a week. I get a job that works you three days a week. You can get in those 40 hours that week. Put in 20 other hours into your craft or, or however much time you get off work. Maybe 20, 30, 40 hours into your craft. But your but your skills are high enough to where you can make a good amount of money. I'm, and I'm being honest, like $75,000, $80,000 a year. You can at least be in that top 15. But you only got to work three or four days a week. I'm talking about medical people. I don't know about other fields. But if you're in the medical field and you're a nurse at this area or you're a doctor, or a PA, or a PT, right? If you're in those areas and you can make enough, you can make enough money to where you only need to work two or three days out of the week, and then you can use that other five for your craft, do that! And you may hate being a fucking physical therapist. You may hate being this. You may hate being that. You may hate being a fucking lawyer. But it makes money right now. I don't like what I do, guys. I don't. I hate my job. But it's not that I hate it, because I'm grateful to have it. So when I say hate, I mean, it's not a job I really want to do, because I know I can't pour my heart and soul into it. I just can't. But my job allows me to pour my heart and soul into this. So even though you may hate your job, because you know you can't, because you know when you work with somebody who loves their job, Somebody is like, this is what I've been wanting my whole life. I was talking to somebody. Uh, I talked to two people. One person said, "They the job I do, they love it. And they're like, this is the reason I do this job. And it's like, man, I just don't even have even an ounce of passion for this like you do. And another person says they love their job because they've been dreaming about this since the day they were three, which I don't believe that bullshit. But nonetheless, you know what they? I know what they mean. You've been wanting this for your whole life. And for me... And it's crazy because life can change. I, you know, 
You never know how long you're going to live. So I'm not sitting here and say this is set in stone. But I can say from day one. Guys, before YouTube was a thing, and maybe I can go find these videos because I don't have them saved like that. Guys, I used to make videos talking like this before YouTube existed. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe not before YouTube existed because I was, I was still a kid when YouTube came out. But before YouTube is what it is now, when YouTube was just a regular old page and before people knew you could make tons of money off of this, I used to make videos in high school just like this, dumbass videos, just like I did now. I've been doing this all through my 20s. I didn't make a YouTube channel until I was well into my 20s, but I used to make videos on Facebook, talking, be like, hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy. I didn't call myself, what can I change? Back then, I was just Trey. And that was just the name of my, my Facebook. It was just Trey. And I would get on there and be like, hey guys, what's going on? So I just got into college, and I think that I'm gonna. And I was just somehow hitting puberty at 23. Um, but yeah, man, it was just, I've always done it. I always made videos, made videos on a Nokia phone. Then I started making videos on a Galaxy phone when the Galaxy first came out with their phones. Then I started making videos on a Galaxy S4 for like four years until it broke. Ah, oh, man. So, yeah, I, I do think I was made to do this, but I don't know how to go all in. Every time I've done it, I get scared. I get cold feet. Every time I've like gone all in and done this, I get I get over my skis. I'm going to try not to make that mistake this time. I'm going to take the adequate, adequate amount of breaks. I won't get caught up in the numbers. I'm just going to talk about what I think is real. And I'm just going to take the hate and take the love. But one thing I'm going to do way different than I used to do. is I didn't used to support anybody. What I'm doing now, I'm, like I said, I'm going to pay to learn how to do this shit. And get better at this. I'm also going to start supporting other content creators. I was just horrible about that. And so, like I said, I take a certain percentage of my paycheck and I support other content creators. Because if my dream doesn't work out, fine. But if I can support somebody else's dream, maybe that'll be just as cool to watch. And I'll just be somewhere in a hospital somewhere, or maybe not in a hospital, maybe in a private setting. And I'll just be sitting there going, man, I'm glad they made it. Now let me get back to my three viewers. And we're going to talk like we're 300 and up. <laughs> Motherfucker. But I also believe one day I could be talking in front of thousands of people. I don't know. I don't know how to pursue this, and I don't know the, all the answers. But what we're going to do together is explore these topics. But I'm going to do a better job about, one, making my videos much longer so I can really get what I'm trying to get out. And two, talking like this, doing overtime, and just being for here for y'all. I'll tell you one thing I wanted I wanted to do for a long time that I didn't, and I'm gonna shut up after this. Was I always wanted to make videos for the people who are sitting alone at night, at one in the morning, two in the morning, and they just got nowhere to turn. And then they find me and I'm sitting here talking about bullshit. Um and that's what I want to be. I used to try to do this all the time on Christmas and Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. And I don't think I've missed it in a while. I think the last two, three years I've done a live stream on Christmas Day, uh, New Year's. I didn't do, and I'm going to do one for Thanksgiving if I'm not at work. So, yeah, if I'm not at work, which I think I'm going to be off for Thanksgiving. Because I know I'll for sure I work Christmas Day. So I'll be here for Thanksgiving and make a video for you guys and try my best. Um, and really just push into this. But anyway. This is my first night doing this, I'm, but tomorrow's going to be a really long-ass live stream. So I want y'all to be in tune for that, because tomorrow's live stream is going to be super duper long. Because um, we're going to break down a two-hour video, maybe not completely two hours, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. But because it's a breakdown of a two-hour video, that means my video, me talking about it, it's got to be three, four hours. I, I mean... Because what I try to do is make my talking part three times as long as whatever I'm watching. So if it's a two-hour video, it's a six-hour talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the good thing is I work the night shift. So it may be six hours, but 
I, I, I stay awake for 16 hours. So I may be, it may be a six hour live stream, but it still gives me 10 hours to do whatever I want. So yeah. So I'll, I'll see you to my guys tomorrow. Much love to y'all. Uh, peace.